Hey guys, so uh, Mr. B here again, and in this video I'm going to give you guys a way of remembering your trig derivatives. Let's see if I can spell derivatives right, I never can. Alright, so I'm going to give you guys a way of remembering your trig derivatives. So we always remember the easy ones, the easy two, right? So the derivative of cos of x is negative sine x and the derivative of sine x is cos. It's the other ones that always cause people issues and those are the derivative of secant, the derivative of tan, cosecant and then cotan. So I was trying to come up with something with my students to try and help them remember them for their calculus placement test and um, what I came up with or you know uh, what they came up with was this easy way of really remembering. So what they did was they wrote this little, quick little acronym. So they remembered secant, secant, tan. And some of them like to put arrows on both ends. I'm not really good at drawing arrows, but there they are. So it kind of goes both ways. Secant, secant, tan. And then cosecant, negative cosecant, and cotan. So they had secant, secant, tan, cosecant, cosecant, cotan. So you might say, well, that seems like it's hard to remember, but it's not. Secant and cosecant, secant and cosecant, tan and cotan. So these are, these are I'll call them cousins, if you want to call them that way. Uh, these are both reciprocal functions, reciprocal of cos, sine, cos, sine, tan, and then reciprocal of tan is cotan. So it's easy to remember. Secant, secant, tan, cosecant, cosecant, cotan. So if you want to figure out what the derivative of secant is, then you just got to go secant tan. So the derivative of secant x is secant x tan x, just like that. So the derivative of secant is secant tan. And then the derivative of tan x is just go the other way. So secant times secant, which is secant squared x, just like that. So it works the same for this guy. So the derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotan. So the derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotan x. And then lastly, we have the derivative of cotan of x. So the derivative of cotan is negative cosecant squared. So negative cosecant times cosecant is negative cosecant squared x. And there it is. That's the easy way how I, uh, my students like to remember their trig derivatives in a pinch. Of course, you could just remember them. And that is it. Hopefully this helps you in some little way, guys. Conquer calculus. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in class. Like, share, subscribe. That old silliness. See you guys. Thanks.